Founded in 1766, Rutgers, the State University of New Jersey, is a leading national public research university and the state's preeminent comprehensive public institution of higher education. We are very proud of our many years of public-private partnerships with several different state departments and numerous nonprofit agencies throughout New Jersey. At the School of Social Work, we are committed to developing new knowledge in the service of children and families in the state of New Jersey and beyond, bringing them the best practices based on the best scientific evidence from the field. With Rutgers as the lead educational institution, the partnership provides training to public child welfare workers statewide to improve and enhance case practice with children and families. What are things that indicate that mom has concern for people's safety here? What tells you that mom's concern for kids' safety? Yeah, she's supervising all of them and the baby is in a crib. And yet, so could we use that strength to address the concern that we have? So in thinking about using a strength-based approach, it doesn't mean that we ignore the problems, right? We still address the problems using the strengths. It means that we have this balanced assessment of families. So um, once we can have a balanced assessment of families and we can recognize both the strengths and the problems, it allows us to have a more balanced assessment and a useful assessment because I can use your strengths to address the concerns that we have. The channel ground is looking internally, okay? We're looking at the internal systems and structures of immediate and extended family to identify and track both strengths and weaknesses, adaptive and maladaptive features, because every family has strengths. Even the most difficult families, even the most seemingly dysfunctional families, they have strengths, so we want to um, capture those too. It's a pictorial display of a person's family through at least three generations. The genogram contains medical, psychiatric, as well as additional information, education, employment, spirituality, and socioeconomic status. And you may be saying, how in the world can that fit on a sheet of paper with some symbols? Trust me, it does, and it's an eye-opening experience. During 2012, the partnership conducted more than 1,200 days of classroom-based training and wrote 45 new course curriculums in topics such as girls and gangs, human trafficking, fetal alcohol spectrum disorders, autism, postpartum depression, reunification of families, assessing older adults as caregivers, and working with Arab American and Muslim families. New to 2012 is also a special emphasis on giving supervisors the skills needed to lead their staff in enhanced practice with several course offerings targeting supervisors. The partnership is on target to create at least 25 additional courses in the new fiscal year and will continue to provide state-of-the-art training to child welfare staff.